Indeed, my name is Akashi guys and in this video here we are going to be doing a how to build a certain team video. Now this might be a new series I might do for every single team in the game and I'm going to give the best equipments, the best team formations and this will be like a locked in video for the team that you are looking forward to build. So in this case because we've got the LF Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta in the game coming out representing GT, I feel like the best thing to do would actually be to make this video and show what would be the best way to actually uh, build GT especially at this point in time but even if new units come out in the future the team wouldn't divert that much but with the tag force coming out i feel like this is the best time to make this video if a new ultra for fusion warriors or something comes out i'll make another one for that video and so on and so forth every time a new unit comes out for a certain tag we can actually focus on that team and i'll actually make a video about how to actually build the team in terms of their team formation and equipment so let me know if you want me to do this for another team in, uh, that you'd like to build um I'm definitely going to do Fusion Warriors, so don't comment that, but maybe another team that you are interested in. But yeah, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video, man. If you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button, man. We're on this grind to 40,000 subscribers. All my social media links are going to be on the bottom of the screen. This is the YouTube channel. We've got Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. So make sure to check me out on all of those. Like I said, uh, let me know if you want me to do more of these for different teams. I want to also point out that I live stream every single day using different characters on the showcase or whatever is going on on the stream, man. So if you catch me live on the channel, that 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. every single day, GMT, I'm British, so that's the time zone. Sometimes earlier than that to accommodate for other time zones and sometimes twice in a day, especially on the weekends. So yeah, I don't want to hold you guys up any longer. I just wanted to point that out because it's the best place to actually contact me. But yeah, let's get into this video on how to build the best GT team. And I'm also going to touch on equipment. So it's the full joint. It's everything. It's, it's a whole deep analysis on GT. Done. You amaze me. Now, the first thing I want to get into is some fundamental team building so that you can go on in the future and actually just build things without, for yourself without actually having to come back to a video if you would so. Please uh, do so. But the, uh, the thought process that I actually follow through with making a team is actually very important. So first thing I'm going to do is go to party formation. Now, people often ask me, why is it set to element and not power level? And what, what I'm talking about is this thing here. You can see people often have it as a power level. So you can see the numbers, right? And then it'd be put in like a, an order that is like very, very difficult to follow. You'd assume that the weaker units are at the bottom and the stronger units are at the top, but that's not always the case. For example, you can see that at the top power level, which is very, very interesting, is Vegito Blue, right? But that doesn't mean he's going to be the strongest in the game, which is why I don't actually follow through the power level because it's not consistent. If we scroll down, we know that a lot of these characters are better than a lot of these characters. Like, there's no way you guys genuinely believe that this Spirit Bomb Goku has a genuinely better chance than MBY Goku in PvP, for example. So you shouldn't worry too much about power level, which is why I always switch it to element because by basis of who's new in the game, what teams are being run, and any content you might watch, you would know who's the best units in the game. But of course, there's guys like this, which would help you actually with the thought process. So I always set it to element. And the main thing you probably want to worry about is the sparkings and ultras. So I just set between these two so that you can actually just get it. And if you want to look at any of the other settings, they're pretty much just off. It makes it easy. So you always have the color wheel, which is blue, green, purple, yellow, red. For anybody that's new to the game, you'd also want to know the color wheel. So blue is first. And for example, it doesn't really matter what's first though, but green green beats blue then purple beats green then yellow beats purple then red beats uh yellow and then it restarts right so that would mean blue meets beats red and that's why i said to element so that you can have one of every color if need be so not every team would require it require it but it's very important to know how you should actually think about things when you're building any team at all so yeah that's step one knowing how you're going to build a team but now that you've got that and how i think let's actually get into the core of a gt team Send it. Well done. You amaze me. Okay, so I feel like the best way to go about this is actually just to look at every character that GT actually has, so I can show you what options you have and where where you could apply people. Um, so I've got the tag fours on the screen simply because they're going to be the most valuable for GT, and that's without a doubt. They cover two elements, so you don't need to worry too much about elements. But because they're green, they do more damage to blues. But when they reverse, they do more damage to their actual threat against them which will be purples so then they are advantage over purple but then they're weak over blues just want to point that out but because they're attacked which unit they cover a lot of space against the enemies and you should actually want to consider them if you do not have them and you're trying to build a gt team if we go into the character list now luckily gt doesn't have many units in the game but also unfortunate i can just do this for 
basically all the the sparking ultra and extreme now i'm actually going to the party for me so select a couple people um i want to point out people for different things and i'm going to select a lot of blast based units and then i'm going to select a lot of strike based units so i think i'll start with the strike based units actually because i know exactly what i'm going to do uh we go with pan first you can go with this guy here but the ability some people are z ability options some people are actually just fighters so pan would be a fighter z ability option here if we're going to continue z ability option and also zenkai buffs the 17 uh this guy can go either way but i feel like he's a slightly more range but because he actually is a more of a support role on the team as you can see he's a support type you can actually just use him as a defensive block but still he's good to have because this guy is zenkai buffing him and his z ability is actually um strike attack which is good if we're going to go another strike option, we've got one here. If we're going to add another Z ability, got one there. You can see I'm just pressing everybody out and I've probably got a list on the screen so you can see. Super 17, pretty sure he's a melee type. Got one there. Very, very good to mention. And then I'm going to end up with uh, just this guy. I'm not going to touch on any extremes really because you shouldn't be considering extremes as your main line of uh, uh, offense but this guy here he's not good necessarily but it's just a z ability gives us strike attack even though i've already mentioned some better options you might not have everybody so i just touched on everybody there now let's switch it up and do the blast attackers if we're going to scroll back to the top super baby 2 does a lot of blast damage even though he doesn't actually uh give anything for his z ability and he's a good support on the team so definitely gotta mention him if we're going to continue i believe i shen run yes if we look at the Z ability blast attack, there we go. Definitely one for the Z ability more than anything else. Not offenses. If we're going to go here, we got a uh, full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku for sure. I haven't mentioned G4 yet, but he will fit more on the melee team. But you could go either way with him because he's a defense type. You can see his strike attack is more. But his Z ability doesn't actually do any uh, really and truly. It's just defenses all the way through. So yeah, depending on what you, what you want to use. Uh, 17 can put as a squad. If we're going to take some people off so you can go back around, you can put this guy in. Fulku is definitely a main. This guy is a Z ability and a Zenkai buffer. Go either way. Marjid can be a defensive unit more than anything else, but he can go blast base because he's a range type, unfortunately. But he does double offenses, which is actually very useful to know. Uh, if we continue going down on the list, we got Vegeta here. He unfortunately buffs Vegeta clan, but I wouldn't necessarily use him. Uh, this guy definitely is better. I'll take this guy off. And definitely consider using this guy here very very solid uh can do a lot of damage surprisingly and his ability does the blast attack now the last thing i want to mention for the units is that you can actually have a good good z ability here which is probably not the unit you probably expected if you've never used it but we have this ex goku here who actually gives hp for the gt team very valuable not to be slept on because he is very core when trying to increase the hp of your team due to his z ability wanted to point him out last because he's kind of separate to everybody else but he's not going to be an attack on your team just put him there on the bench to buff everybody's gt hp but yeah that would conclude the units i'm going to get into the equips now getting into the equips now where you want to go is the equipment and you want to go to archive then you want to set the filter and set it to gt that would be your best bet to actually get the gt equips but not all the equips you're going to want are here so what i'm going to do is actually start with this one here where you can actually get health restoration strike attack and double defense uh it's very good for a plat and it fits on everybody that comes on gt i wouldn't always opt in for it because you might want to opt in for better things which i'll show you but if you're running, for example, Super Baby 2, who can actually increase the health restoration on the team by 50%, and you're maybe running 17 as well, uh, who actually increases HP after every combo ends, you can get a lot out of it. The tag switch units, they gain health all the time. So yeah, this would be an opt-in for that. Very good unit. I'm surprised at my, at my strength. And you can get it from the Ultimate Equipment Collection. Next, we got this equip here, ha 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 ha. And you can see Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta laughing. If it's on GT globally, if you want to build someone fully defensive, this is the way to go. You get defenses on every single slot, and the first two slots you can pick the options. But I wouldn't recommend this one. Why? Even though you can get it from both the Z medal and equipment medal, it's because it can be awakened. Now, the awakening equipment system is jarring. But yes, if you can get an awakened version, it's better. You can see you got the double on the top, whereas before you had a choice. And in the middle slot, it's not 
low it's not a lower percentage anymore it's up to 18 percent and at the bottom the percentage has gone up as well so if you want to compare it you can see it's 12 at the bottom but it's 14 on the awakened and it's 18 on the middle slot even though you can only pick one and up here it's 13 and i believe it stays 13 yeah but you can see it's much more better for the defensive units zenkai ultra space time rush for the awakened version you need the awakening the memories but then you need the z medals or you go to z metal shop and equipment metal shop to get the original this awakened equipment is gold literal special move here key recovery and strike defense and the strike attack being at a whopping 38 percent literally fitting on all gt you can see here that the global tag gt is very very good 38 percent is nuts with the base level being 20 percent you can get this through the zenkai ultra space time rush medals but if you want the unawakened version which is not as good as you can see only 22 percent i wouldn't rather grind this you should just go for the awakened version even if you get a low percentage on the first slot uh, you can get in the equipment metal shop must have I definitely recommend this more than anything else if especially if you're running a strike based team for the blast base guys you definitely want to have this one you see it's GT range type which is quite the issue but regardless of that you can still get a lot of blast attack 12% to 28% and then you get special move strike defense blast defense and this is the awakened version of course so you can get the memory from the Zenkai Ultra Space Time Rush Shop but the unawakened version which I wouldn't actually recommend. You can see it's not here. Um, is it not here? No, it is there. I was about to say. You can see it's not as good even though it has this exact same condition. Blast attacks less. You only get one of the strike defense or special move and the blast defense on the first slot. You can get it from the Z Awake equipment metal shop if you want to try it and actually awaken it. Another small one here from a blast merchants. Special move, blast attack, health. Very, very good. Saiyan and GT are the conditions. And you can get it from the special battle where there's Goku. But it could be in the Z metal shop or the equipment metal shop if you're watching this at a later date. I've gone ahead and changed the actual conditions to Super Saiyan 4 because there's this awakened equipment which is probably the best equipment for GT in entirety. The only issue is that it's stuck at Super Saiyan 4 and melee. But you can get special move, ultimate damage, strike attack on two slots. So you're getting up to like 30, 35%, 25%. Don't know where that mass came from. But um, yeah, <laughs> uh, the health is also there. But the strike attack is a lot. The special move is a lot and the ultimate is a lot. So a lot of value out of this equip. Do not sleep on it. It's very, very genuine. Uh, you can see here, you, because it's awakened, you get the um, awakened version, the memories at the Zenkai Ultra Space Time Rush Shop, as you should catch on by now. Then the unawakened version is also good, but the thing is, it doesn't come with the strike attack and the ultimate special move is less. So, at least the, the special ultimate is the same special move is less. Um, it's exclusive to only Super Saiyan 4s, but you can get this in the Z metal shop and the equipment metal shop. So, make use of that if you don't want to grind the uh, awakened version, even though it's way better. But it is tied into the fact that you can only use it with melees. For example, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta wouldn't be able to use this. But the 4Q could, the Tag Bros could. So, yeah. I feel like it's a must. I mentioned this. The Dragon Fist equipment, uh, LF Dra for four Q. Uh, you can see here, uh, the Zenkai Seven LF four Q. You actually kind of need this equipment. It's kind of a must. Uh, try get the third slot so you can get all the inflicted special move damage and the ultimate. You get the pure strike attack. Try to get the GT slot and the blast attack. And then you can also get H HP and the double defenses. You get this from the ultimate equipment collection. And as a standard, I have to mention Super Saiyan Four Gogetas. You get a lot of health both defenses and then you get inflicted damage both offenses and you should really try get the third slot but the first slot anyways at this point is not very valuable but in the scenario you do take out someone with a revival you want to get the 50 percent damage inflicted which will make him a much more threatening unit because i wouldn't say he's the most threatening unit to begin with but you can get this from the ultimate equipment collection as well now this is the last equipment i want to touch on and it's actually the most valuable of anyone i've mentioned most of gt is filled with saiyans and what you want to use is this equipment here because you can literally build your own equipment. I call it the build your own equipment equip because you can pick exactly what you want on every single slot. So depending on the unit, if I'm using, for example, the full power Zenkai uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he's a blast based unit. So I'd want to go with blast, blast, and then I'd go ultimate or special move depending on what I want to do. Even health restoration could be useful because when he lands his ultimate, he heals a lot of health. This is exclusive to Saiyans and you can see how valuable it is because there's so many Saiyans in the game. Do not sleep on this equipment, you can get a lot of value out of it. It's very very good if it's on literally every Saiyan. So yeah, if I'm running maybe G4, I might go Strike, Strike, Ultimate. 
maybe strike strike special move if i want to build him defensively i could go strike defense strike defense and then i could pick which one of these i want probably go special move or ultimate still so you can literally just mix and match depending on what team you want to run it's difficult to grind but if you can get it in the z metal shop is where you go it would actually change your whole experience using any saiyans and gt is no exception the last equip I want to call it because it's specifically for the Android 17. I feel like he's going to be a good unit on GT for a while because they're not going to have many purples. They literally have four Q, uh, the Zenkai 7 purple one that's been in the game from the first festival, however long, bro. But this guy here, he can get defenses against Saiyans and Saiyans are always a dominant unit in the game. And then you get some defenses here, 35% and HP, which is very, very good. So overall, this equip is specifically for Android 17, but I want to mention it because he's going to be a core member on the team. But yeah, man, that's going to be the end of the video pretty much. Um, I don't have anything else I would actually change. Um, the video might have been loud at some points because I was pressing buttons and I forgot to turn the volume down, but hopefully you guys got everything I needed to say. Uh, this is just the GT team I've been dealing with right now. Um, I've got 17 there for the defenses, the tag fours, of course, double Zenkai buff. Then I've also got Nova Shenron for the Z ability and I'm running 4Q of course because he is just a standard building bus for the su uh, support through like being faced with uh, enemies with 15% every single time I believe and then on top of that he has a dangerous ultimate when he's last stand. But hopefully this video was extremely informative. I'm going to try to do this for every single team as the meta changes but let me know if you guys would want to see that because if you wouldn't then I'm going to do it but of course I think it will be useful. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button, man. We're on this grind to 40,000 subscribers. All my social media links are going to be on the bottom of the screen. It's the YouTube channel. We've got Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. I'm not going to say anything else, man. I appreciate you guys for showing all the love and support on the channel. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Akashi, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one, man.